What is up? It's your boy Anecdotal, and today we're going to be talking about the puzzle event, man. And the puzzle event is one that you need to prepare for at least a little bit. That way you can get two free SSR characters. Hmm, who do we pick? All right, Morgan and Apollo are 100% the best characters that you can pick from the options that we have here. Morgan keeps your players alive and Apollo is your carry. Who do we pick for you are? Doesn't matter because we're not going to be able to get it. <laughs> but if we had to, it would be Amaterasu or Oda Nobunaga. Now, here we have just your regular login puzzle pieces that you can go ahead and collect. And it is what it is. You should be able, even just from logging in, I believe you should be able to just get your very first free UR. I mean, SSR character. But this is why you want to save some of these roles. For this, I need to do 14 roles in order to get all the puzzle pieces for this particular task. So, dude, just save up 14 and it's a free SSR character. You'll always get these naturally just from playing. You'll get your free roles. So just say 14 and then always have 14. Now I already have 28. So all I got to do is count down from four, 28 minus 14, which hilariously enough is 14, man. So I'm just going to do this and I'll have my 14 and hopefully I get something good. Obviously for me, the definition of something good is everything on the upper right side. So if I get the, the 15 UR shards, amazing. If I get the 20 SSR shards, because you only need three of those to get 60 to get a random SSR, that would be awesome. Dust is always the bottleneck. And then if I get the Inherited Divinity, and I don't know if you saw the other video, but <laughs> Inherited Divinity means everything in the game, bro. If you really want to max out your character, you need Inherited Divinity, and there's a lot of characters to max out. And then honestly, it, it's, it's actually the whole top row. Gems, oh, I got gems, gems, baby. Yeah, the 3K gems is one free 10 pull. So that's great, which only means that the 10 pull, of course, the scrolls are also great. And, uh, you know, you could always use money. You could always use EXP as well. And then uh, I'd say the cubes are great. Ooh, the blue treasure chest actually isn't bad because you can get some upgrade juice and common artifacts that you'll use to unlock stuff. Ooh, got the 20, nice, nice. Honestly, I never thought I would get one of those things, but hey, awesome. Now all I need is it is inherited divinity and we on our way, man. All right. Other than that, of course, I'd say the cubes, the little Rubik cube looking thing that will give you passive upgrades over time would also be nice, but we didn't end up getting them. Now, every once in a while, go over there and do a couple spins just cause, but in the back of your mind, make sure to always have 14 so that when this event does roll around and remember there's an event calendar right there, you can click it and you can find out when the event's coming up and say, oh, wow, I actually don't have 14. I'm going to stop rolling. Wait till I get to 14 or, oh, I'm like way past that. I'll, I'll just use some for fun as long as I don't pass it. Now here uh, you get 32 puzzle pieces, but you get two per 10 pull. So all you have to do is summon 16 times, not 32 times. So as long as you have uh, 16 temples, you're good. Now you might be wondering, wow, you have enough to get, you know, that old UR character. I'm never going to work on that UR character. He's, from what I hear, he's a great max out support like unit. But I'm free to play. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not will. Oh, wow. Look at that. I got lucky. I'm not will enough to work on a support UR character. I can only get the DPS UR characters that really matter like Amaterasu or uh, Oda Nobunaga and currently I'm trying to get both of them all right so far pretty lucky man so remember these 16 10 pulls that you do they could also be used for friendship units so if you're thinking oh man I I just started the game and I really need to pull units cool do it feel free to do it right but try to pull most of those units from the regular 10 pull the the, the normal banner that that doesn't have a featured character and just pull from there and then save all the friendship points. And those pulls count towards this event. Now I'm getting pretty lucky with some of these SSRs. Unfortunately, the SSRs that I am getting are ones I've already maxed out. But having two, not one, but two SSRs in one is pretty cool. If I just started playing the game and I just got GM and Poseidon at the same time, I would have been pretty happy. Remember after 10, you get to select. Now I got Morgan in the bottom and I got just a really great buffer in Western Queen in the upper right. Currently, my Western Queen is more built, so I'm going to go for her, and she's going to be a great support when I finish building her out. See, look at this. Boom! All the way maxed. All right. Woo! All the way maxed. 
It's always a great feeling, man. Ooh, you still that? Max Ascension, baby. All right. So, obviously, I still need to enhance her. I like a lot of the Luminarch faction, so I don't have all of the random SR pieces to help enhance her. But that will come within time. There's also Apollo that I need to worry about. And as far as Amaterasu goes, she's only half Luminarch and her other half is Guardian, which is the blue side. So, man, for that, I have so many blues because I don't really work on many on many blue characters. Like Lubu right here, don't care, bro. Don't care at all. So, as long as I have that, I have so many backup S SR blues. That it's Ooh, I got Morgan. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it, but... Uh, Morgan, yes. Okay, like I said, Morgan, Morgan is just a pain, right? Not only is she a really good support because she can keep your character alive, buff your character when your character is supposed to die, basically is in a state of like limbo where you have, I think it was eight seconds of invincibility. Like you're basically out of the match, but you can still attack and gives you a buff while you're there. If you end up uh, defeating an opponent on the opposite side, you end up gaining your life back that's insane yeah so you basically get a respawn and you you have enough time to power yourself up to do an attack pretty insane man so that's why you always got to go morgan even if your morgan isn't super built like the enhancements aren't fully there and everything else as long as you have the iconic weapon i think it's up to 300 maybe maybe two maybe maybe 200 300 not sure you don't have to go all the way to 400 she will still be useful because she will make sure your character doesn't die. The only thing that happens at 300 is a slight 10% attack buff while you're in that limbo. And then at 400, it's the 10% becomes either 15 or 20. <clears throat> I don't really use her right now, but we'll see. Oh, next video, we will finish the Lunar Wheel. I have more keys and more information on Lunar Wheel. So if you saw my last video where I talked about how much keys you need and uh, what to expect there now that i've actually completed it for the first time i have more info on it about when it refreshes and how to claim everything and what does it mean to get lucky in the lunar wheel and when it doesn't so that video is going to be coming out probably right after this one uh a day after of course but wow yeah man i'm almost done can't wait for archie to be done but ooh, the thing about this man is when you max something out <clears throat> You, you get a reward for it. In the portrait reward, you just get overall higher attack, higher defense, HP, PvP damages, and all that. So it's really great always to work on your characters. There's something about collecting it all that's fun, and you also get rewarded for it. So that's always a good thing. But before we go ahead and leave, uh, let's see. I want to pull here. If you're wondering why I have that SSR, uh, like I said in the last video, I'm just trying to fulfill the portraits. But let's see if I get lucky. I get something good. What? No no way oh my god dude oh did you hear this <laughs> i'm a tarasu baby do you want oh i was only missing one i was only missing one all right i have a character to focus on like sure i'm focusing mainly on odin archie and western queen but now that i that i have this and I unlocked her to Mystic, uh, Mystic, whatever, it's red. Now that I did that, I can get her past 225 and I can up her, her iconic weapon to 400, right? And then eventually I'll work on her inherited divinity and I can get it up to 500 because this person, Amaterasu, is quite literally the greatest player in the game. So I can finally start working on her. The only thing that has limited me from doing it is I wasn't able to get her copies. But bam, I just did it. I'm also one copy away from Oda Nobunaga. So of course, I'm going to be working on her. But divinity-wise, I'm definitely going to finish off Archie, finish off, and, and finish off Odin. And then, and then Western Queen, and then she's going to be fourth on my list. So I do have quite a few people to work on next. But ooh, man, they're oh My account is just so happy right now, man. So yeah. Definitely, definitely pay attention to the event. Make sure that you save up some goodies so that you can go ahead and get these summons done. Now, your summons, you get like an extra reward for the summons that you could have done earlier. You just have to wait a little bit and you get two free SSR characters. And all the little goodies that you get for unlocking those puzzle pieces. The third SSR, you're not going to get or that you are, but hey, it is what it is. Peace out.